Court, there you go. Por tiempo, gordo. Right now. So, hey, as me I... acabo de acordar que me mandó mensaje. Una disculpa. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, so right here. So as I was saying, we are going to be doing a real research. And we are going to start with this main question, is home office doing the job? And the main, please take note of this. And the main objective, find out if the work done in home office is as productive as expected. And how you are going to be doing this? Okay, activities. By teams, I'm going to create the teams just right now. You are going to design, code, and apply. Design, code, and apply. A questionnaire about home office productivity. At least 20 variables and the three different types. Please, anyone, tell me which are the three different types of variables. Nominal, ordinal, and scale. Yes, that is great. At least I can relax right now. We've achieved one of the class of the course objectives. Okay, so that's it. You are going to design it. You are going to code it, obviously, in SPSS. And in the teams, it can be done by one. You know? Not everyone, but if you, if you want to practice, but maybe if Daniela or someone else doesn't have SPSS, someone else can do it. You are going to be applying the questionnaire. How? Obviously by digital means. No, I mean, uh, you can apply it by WhatsApp, by messenger, by email, by phone, by video conference as you wish, okay? And uh, then we are going to analyze the results that is going to be done next week. I require 20 variables. Uh, questions? Yes, I have one. Please. Um, the last classes that we've been working with SPSS, I think I already got to understand how it works, like to do the questions, but I don't know how to like have the questionnaire and then like fulfill it. Like, you know, we're always putting information that we like randomly, like for the Canadian people. So we put like the people that live in Canada or that was born in Canada. But if this time is going to be real, does SPSS give you like the page where you can send it or you need to change it like to a Word document and then put the information that you got in the first uh, page of SPSS? You have to capture it directly in SPSS. So once we do the 20 questions, we ask them, like we pass them to a Word document and we ask to the people? The thing is that since you are going to be doing this online, I would say that you can be doing maybe by WhatsApp or maybe by email or, well, maybe email is not, I don't think that it's going to be a good one. I would say I will go with WhatsApp or Messenger or, or a video conference, no? And you can be capturing them through directly to SPSS. Okay. Uh, there's a new way to do it, yes, but it's not so easy and we don't have enough time to go through it. But uh, there is a way that you can put, imagine that you create a, a web crawl uh, survey or maybe uh, a Google Doc survey, and you can copy them to SPSS, but we have not enough time to do it. Okay. Okay, uh, questions, questions? No. Okay, so then remember, design, code, and apply. So right now I'm going to break the the class into, into teams. It's going to be done randomly and you are going to work in each one of the teams, in each one of the rooms. I'm going to be entering to each one of them to help you, okay? And well, I'm going to advise, help and supervise what you are going to be doing. So let me create the rooms, please. Accept the invitation and get inside of each one of them. So,
Okay, so there you go. Now, please accept the invitation. En ESPSS, la verdad es que creo que si le entendí, podemos ir ideando las preguntas entre todos, ¿les parece? Perfecto. ¿Pero solo lo tienen que hacer uno o todos? No sé, según yo. I would uno, say ¿no? that it would be great if almost not everyone, but as many as you can. Why? Because it's great that you can practice. Bueno, eso sí. No, but I mean, oh. it's not a must. I can share my screen. Yes, that, that would be good. But first, first, first of all, design. Remember, design, okay? If you are going to be making a design, you have to do a small research about secondary sources, no? So, productive homosphies, how can you measure it? Please do a brief, a fast research about it. Okay. Okay. I will be so, entering and uh, going out and going in. Okay, so see you in a minute. Yes. O sea, no saben que tenemos muchas más clases que los demás. Nuestro horario está lleno. Sí. Okay, so here we are. So, okay, so the idea is that you are going to work together, but first you have to make the design. And for the design, it's very important that you make a small research about secondary sources, about home office. So then you can get inside of designing the questionnaire and variables. Okay. Okay, with the three. I'm going to be going out of the different teams, but questions? Yes, we're going to do the questionnaire first, the design. Yes. And, and then... The How many questions? Well, uh, you, you are going to need at least 20 variables, but sometimes what questions will create two variables? Yes. Um, okay. Where do we create the design? Um, I don't know, in a document, in a Word document will be great. Oh, okay, oh, okay, I understand. Okay, teacher. So how much time do we have to do the questionnaire? Uh, well, you have to finish it today, so this will mean in an hour. In an hour, we have to be done. Okay, perfect. Because the idea is that I, I don't want to leave you homework, so the idea is that you are able to finish today. Okay. okay. So the questionnaire is the only thing we're going to be doing today. No, design, the, the design means find information about our office, second, create a questionnaire, and third, Code it. I want to see in SPSS the code. Okay. 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 See you in a minute. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Luego lo hacemos en en el SPSS. Ah, porque en el programa solo ponemos como las respuestas, según yo, lo que ya nos contestó la gente. Exactly. That is right. Okay. So here we are. Hola, profe. Hi. Okay. So you have to create a design, and it's important that you make a fast, a brief, secondary sources. What is home office? What means productivity? So something simple, small, and fast. Then... How many questions? Well, remember that we are expecting 20 variables. Sometimes one question Ooh. will create two variables. So we can say that maybe 15 to 20, something like that. But we okay. need 20 variables, okay? So once you have the questionnaire, you are going to code it in SPSS. I don't want to leave you homework, so that is why I'm expecting that by 2.30 in one hour, you are able to do these three parts. Secondary sources, create the questionnaire, and code it in SPSS. Now, okay. uh, teacher, do you want the investigation in a Word document or, uh, well, the, uh, to the home office research? Do you want it in a document and then it to send it to you, or how will it be? That will be by the end, but right now what you are doing is great. No, I mean, uh, Amaya is sharing the screen. That is great. Okay, so that would be the starting point, and then create in Word the questionnaire, and then coding in SPSS. So next week you are going to deliver everything, but right now this is fine. 
Yeah, right now it's only the questions. Yes, and remember to do a small research, you know, of secondary sources. Okay. I will be going out and in in each one of the teams. So, I mean, if you have questions, or by the way, uh, beneath the screen you have right there that you can send me a message. I think that it says call the host, something like that. Ah, okay, yeah. So if you have something, I can, if I'm with another team, I can come with you, but I'm going to be going out and in. Okay. Okay, see you in a minute. Uh, teacher, which yes. is one question. Um, yes, yes. I'm trying to to um, install the SPSS software in the, my other computer, but do you remember if the mail or you sent it to us, it was a Gmail, a Mondragon emails, or it was from Hagelias, the instructions or and all that stuff? All of my emails are coming from Mondragon. All right, so the instructions should be there, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, see you. How are you doing? Hi. Fine. Fine, thank you. Alguien le puede enseñar el el I'll share the screen teacher. Please. So you can see what we're making. Can you see mine? Yes. So this is our like primary base questionnaire for the for the survey. Okay, I, I want with... to make you an advice. It's a good practice to leave question one and two, those two, age and gender, by the end of the questionnaire. Why is that? Because those are so easy questions that it's not good to take the first part of the time. So mm. I will advise to leave those one and two but to the end. Okay. 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 Excellent number three. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Now let's get to before you move it. Just a second, please. Yes, I'm gonna make you oh, okay, perfect. Uh on number four, I will suggest to add uh how many hours um uh, promedio, how can you say promedio? Average, average, average. Average, yes, average. So we would write how many average hours? I would say that hours. in average, comma, how many hours? How many hours? No, uh, Here, first, comma? at the beginning, instead of how, I would add in average, comma. Ah, okay. In average, comma, how many? That's it. Yes, exactly. Again, on, on question five. Okay. Are you using platforms? Sure. Yes. Uh, just a, a question. For the question number five, our intention is to say, okay, if you used to work on presidential office five hours before the, the situation, right now, how many hours do you need to work from office to get the same results? So that's like the intention for question number five. I don't know if it can be like misinterpreted, uh, like saying, okay, you work in your office five hours and after that at home online, how many times 
how many hours did you work like extra? Can it one, be interpreted like that? Yes, one good technique is to use phrases and be if they identify with them. So maybe I would add a question that would say between five and six, that would say, with which of the next uh, phrases, with which of the next, uh, uh, yeah, yes. sentences, with which of the next sentences do you feel more uh, alike? And I would say, number one, I work as many hours in home office as I did on the, uh, on the traditional ones. I work more, I work less. So maybe you can give three options and let them choose the one that I, that they uh, feel, feel more. Okay, so, okay. Okay. oh my gosh. So it, it should be there, right? No, I will put it a bit after it's number five. Yes. Okay. So you know how how I can have here the missing number? Yes. Like that's it. Yes, yes, on the upper part you have to choose the one that will yes, that one. Oh yeah. That's it. So it, it should be um how it was, sorry teacher. With which of the following sentences do you agree? I'm back. Do you, alike, right? do you agree? Do you feel okay? Yes. Exactly. Do you feel more alike? That's it. Okay. Uh -huh. Maybe, it was... uh, I work uh, almost the same hours in home office as I did. Online. I have a question. Yes. How can we measure output in work? Because every, every single job is going to be different. But the key question here is to answer if is home office being productive. So how can we measure output? That is exactly what I asked you to do a small research of secondary sources. But let's say that you are finding that productiveness can be measured through objective accomplishment. Okay. So maybe that would say, are you fulfilling, Do you fulfill your objectives? objectives? Uh, mainly or mostly yes, or sometimes, or I don't know, but you have to, you have to find out how to measure it. And that is done by research of secondary sources. Yes, that okay. makes sense. So, so for the second question, Sorry, we could write, I work more hours to get the same results. I work more no, because hours on home. It's not about results. I think that number six is about working. Okay. I would advise to add a question about results, a new one. So do you fulfill your results? Yes, no, most of the time. Something like that, yes, that is productiveness. But, the but we have one like that. We put in the question 10. In a scale from one to ten, how productive you felt? No, have you felt your improvement in home office? You know what is the trouble with question number ten? That productiveness can mean different things to different people. Okay. So maybe so we can talk about results. Yes, I am very productive. Who knows? For example, okay. I can ask you right now: Do you think that you are being productive as students? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> no, but, but what means productive? But maybe yeah, if I'm it's... asking you, are you able to complete your homework on time? Oh, that's different. Okay. Ah, okay. Maybe more, yeah, more specific. Yes, because using the word productive is the difficult, is a tricky one. By the way, I think that you can erase number seven because everyone everyone is doing is using platforms there's no other way uh, okay so if we take out this one how should we uh, you can put right there which platforms are you using for home office no um and then it's okay that we put afterwards 
uh, are the platforms helping? I would say how much, you know, because I mean, they are being helpful, but how much? Because I guess and I know it's, uh, it's very limited. So we could say how we can use the scale one and say how effective have been working with platforms and from scale from one to 10 or something like that. And by the way, please do not use one to 10. Okay. One to five. five or something like that because one to ten you are going to get eight and eight. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, teacher, can you say to us if we are right? Like, what is your age? Okay, that's what that one is okay, right? No, but yes, that one just is leave it by the end. Mm -hmm. Huh? Ah, this one goes in the end. Yes. Uh, yes. Move them by the end. Okay. Well, let's put it in the end then. Ah. I need to go move the complete the question. Ah, se va Let me see. Oh, nada más por ralar y las las escribimos abajo. Ya es lo que estoy haciendo. And the, what is your gender, female, preferring not to say? Also at the end. Yes. Anything that you can say without hesitation should be at the end. Okay. The ones that are okay, I will put them on green because we can know those are okay. So in the seventh one, instead of the one that we already have, we can have, are you reaching or fulfilling your objectives? Yes, to yes, I would say that one. Yes, exactly, okay. instead of productive. Okay, and, and we should write yeah. down in, in scale from one to five, or, or this would, would be- a One to five is a lot better than one to 10. Yes, that's right. And, and by the way, explain the... what is five. No, I mean, uh, you, you can- uh, Yeah, five being completely uh, effective and one. Maybe I would say five is uh, almost uh, all of them, all of the objectives have to fill and one almost none. Ah, uh, okay, perfect. Ese tú lo escribes, Richard? Let me go to the other um, thing. I will read to you. Hold on. In number six. Increase. Hola, profe. How are you? Uh, we're thinking about the questions. Perfect. I would advise to leave one and two by the end. Let me tell you why. Because gender and age is very simple questions and they uh, are taking time of the of the questioner so please put them by the end okay Bye. okay in order um, it will be great if you add average well now is number three which one in number three, it will be great if you can add average. How many hours in average? Yes, why is that? Because you do not do the same hours every day. Yeah. Claro. yeah. Again, in number four. Okay, number five is very good. You just have to put right there the options. Mm -hmm. Okay, number six. It's a good question, but we have to change it. Yeah, Let's percentage change this be. because uh, this one should be an option. No, you can put rather almost all of them instead of many. No, are just are your task being completed during times? And then two options like almost or maybe all of them, almost all of them. Some of them, none of them. No? Yeah, it's one of those questions, but we are not like putting those options. We, we thought about just putting them on the SPSS program. Okay, that, that's great. Easier. But uh, the thing is that when you use many, you are talking about 
Quan. Quan did you okay? Teacher, so how do we put it? Are your tasks being are your tasks is being is going completed to in time or as a schedule? And uh, the options would be all, all of them, almost all of them, some of them, almost none of them, some, something like that, no? Okay. Yeah. Okay, now, number seven. Productive is very difficult to understand because, uh, let me ask you a question. How productive do you feel right now in uh, online education from one to five? Free. Yes, but what is productive? Mm, like doing what you are supposed to. Okay, like so then let's ask thing. that. So maybe I can ask you, from one to five, uh, are you learning what you are supposed to? From one to five, are you fulfilling your homeworks? From one to five, are you completing your projects? I mean, you have to break down productivity because if not, it's it's very difficult to to have it in just one Understand question. It. No? Okay. That is why I was asking you to go and do a research about productivity because we need uh, a metric. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, let me go to the other team. I will return. All right, teacher. Oigan, entonces, ¿qué había dicho from one no es como específico. No o podemos si... poner una pregunta de you are the boss o de incluida. Dale. Oh, that one is good, ¿no? Bueno. You are the first one to think about the job position. That one is a good one. I've been with the other yep. teams and they didn't figure it out. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, yes, job position is good. important for productivity. So yes. that will be the question will be like uh, uh, your position is in, the, in your company is in, as an employer or employee could be or what yes. do you think? And I would say maybe you are uh, one of the most important questions I would say if you have people under you. Oh. Wait. For example, it would be manager or uh, operation, you know, something like that. So it could be like multiple example and multiple option, right? Like, uh, what is your position, CEO or CFO yes. or operation manager or yes. that that or just a worker? <laughs> and instead of CEO and CFO, maybe you could put uh, director. No, I mean uh, director or director or uh, director team, directory team, no? Something like that. Project, um, project manager for, uh, could be also operational, operation manager. Yo, uh, yo uh, con cinco opciones y ya de, la, la, la sexta que sea, ya sabes, open or other. Uh, other, okay, yes, other. yes, I would do yes, I would. Please let me see the first uh, questions because I cannot see them. What is home office? That one is going to be very difficult. Oh, the, these are not the questions, are they? No. No, the thing is, first we put uh, uh, the questions that we are going to search for. Oh, like okay, the, okay, okay. Yes, yes, okay. That is the design. Okay, yes, yes, perfect. Yes, excellent. Okay. And then it's a survey question. Okay, let's go to the survey, please. Have you, okay, that one is good also. You are doing things different than the other teams. Yes, of course. You know why? Because that one, the first question can make a comparison and maybe the ones that are being more productive are the ones that did come off it before. That one is a good one. Okay, which sector? Okay, yes, let's continue. Okay, international, yes, position, yes. Which one do you prefer? Okay. Okay, uh, on how do you feel that one? Please avoid one from 10. One from 10 is not a good scale. Use one to five. Let me tell you why, because 
most of the, what's the difference most of the time people are going to choose seven eight or nine because the amount of ni, options ni we're giving, right? well. no? yes it's because in our minds 10 is too good it's like excellent from one to five no one chooses it so most of the time will you will get a seven an eight or a nine i see okay i don't see the relevance of since when are you working in home office the thing is that uh, Aldo, Aldo said uh, the, the, uh, uh, before this pan the, pande the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, might be, uh, maybe most of the people were not like uh, uh, familiarized or related with the home office. So we wanted this to see the dimension, the difference between five months ago before the COVID and, and nowadays that is why I really like the question before if you've done home office before. I think that one is answered with the other question. Uh, well, that's a good point. No, I think that one is answered with that one. Okay. So we raise it then. I think so, yes. I don't think that it's going to add anything. Now, uh, you need to include productivity, okay? But please do not ask productivity directly. You have to find a way to measure productivity. Yeah, okay. Mm. Okay, I will go uh, with the... Maybe one question could be yeah. like, uh, do you complete all the work that you did before in the office or something yes, like that? that one is good and I will change work for task or objectives. I think task is good. Okay, I would say yes, I will go with task. And maybe yes. you can give different options like almost all of them, I mean all of them, almost all of them, some of them, almost none of them, I mean give them options. Yes. Okay. By the way, that would be an ordinal variable. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay. Bye. Sure. Hello, teacher. How are you going? Hi. Hi. We Out have some questions. Family. Yes, please. Let me know. Uh, you, tú la sharees? Ya la puse, ¿no? Yes. Ah, okay. okay. Le puedes subir, por fin. So, teacher, I have a question. Uh, I put these two first questions about the day, the hours that they spent online. But I don't know if they are okay, like, uh, like, ¿cómo se dice? I mean, I don't know uh, if uh, one Lisa, to two. Uh -huh. I think I that one, one to two, two is too few. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't know if the hours are, like, positioned correctly. I would say, think about the one that is working 
too many hours. What would it be? Maybe eight hours? More than eight. Okay? No. So I would say 12. that, the, yes, more than eight. Because more than eight means they are working more than usual. Because right. a normal labor day is eight hours. So maybe as Ricardo is putting three to five, six to eight, and eight or more? Okay, yes, yes, I would say that one is good, yes. Okay. Okay, now yeah. there's a mistake right there. I hope you can see it. What is between five and six? One hour? No, but I mean, you have no option. Where? From three to six, six to eight, eight or more. Come on. So we see que la hora entre cinco y seis se está perdiendo, no se toma en cuenta. Yes, it has to be from three. Okay, five to eight. Okay, that's it. Yes. Okay, yes. Ah, uh, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, because there are like maybe they work between five and six hours. Exactly. Yes, you cannot so work eight hours either. Sorry. So this one in the age, we should make the same. No, ask, no, ask it straight. No, do not put yeah. range. Ah, okay. But the thing was that we uh, thought that if if we don't have range, then it's going to be very difficult to to concentrate the, the data. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Ah, okay, so we leave open the... Yes, yes, uh, I will teach you how, how you are going to manage that one. Okay, so I'll come back to the first. Why did you put non-binary? We're in 2020, right? It's binary. <laughs> Okay, I will go to the other team. Okay. okay. Uh, teacher, just uh, from this one, how do you see them? Like from a quick view. Okay, so it was starting with which one? 10? Yes. Just let's take out education because we are not talking about education. And take away, uh, that's it. yes, exactly. Yes, that one is good. Okay, would it's I not about, would you return? I would add, would you prefer to return? Because it's about preference. Uh -huh. No, I mean, just imagine that you will have to, no, but you do you prefer? Yes, exactly. Okay, yes, that's nice. Number 14 is very good, but I would not leave it by the end. Okay, so no, no, I know I know. Move 12 and 13 to the end always. They were on the end. But okay. So, okay, now, here we go. Okay, yes, that uh, 13 is good. Okay, 15 is also good, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, they are good. So we're missing five. Well, remember that sometimes a question leaves more variables, but okay, go through it and see if you have them. Yes, okay. what, what I was telling the group is that we prefer to have it like this way before starting it. And then we can start doing it uh, on SPSS and in another, web page we know that we can send it like easily to have the results perfect okay yes okay, okay. Yeah. see you in a minute bye yes. okay. yes overwhelms you i know se overwhelm okay so ahorita la
corrijo. Ok. Does the volume of work you receive or have overwhelms you? Uh, Why don't you put the, the, the work, does the volume of work, don't put you receive. Yeah, what? Does the volume of work overwhelms you? Sorry, teacher, I can't. Yes, you does the volume of work overwhelms, uh, do not put you receive or have. I mean, uh, we're talking about work you are doing. Okay. Is it spelled correctly? I think it's spelled wrong, no? Overwhelms? Or not? I think it's overwhelmed. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, no. No, but it looks like it's not correct. Well, it might be that way, yeah. Yes, okay. yes, it is, it is right. So this is our work teacher. We're just, uh, we don't, we're not sure if we should include this one, number seven because it's a bit similar to, where is it? Number six, I don't know, five. Yeah, I, number I five. Think number seven, uh, no, I think number seven is good. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, I will leave it. Is there some question you don't like? Let me see. What are you thinking you are going to, uh, I mean, number nine, remember to change productivity to something else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. why we left it like that, because we are just thinking of, like, uh -huh. when we do the actual uh, SPS graphic, I mean, what is it called? The questionnaire? Uh, we're going to change that part. Okay. I think that 15, uh, I, I wouldn't uh, advise to have it. I think that it's, uh, it will not have information to our main objective. Okay. Should we remove it? Then? Yes, I would, I would remove it. Okay. Oh, uh, number eight is a very, 18 is a very good one. Okay, yes, yes, that's fine. Okay. Great teacher. Okay. Ready. See you in a minute. Yep. No, now we move on to SPSS, right? Yep. Pero Pablo, ¿qué estás poniendo? Les estás preguntando que si sí han tenido problemas y los que no han tenido problemas como los mides. Nada más. Oh uh, if the answer is yes, select which one, which of the following. What happened? Here am I. Ah, Carla left and she cannot enter. Oh, okay. And I we will... cannot invite her. Okay. A second. <laughs> Thank you. Sí, pero no, Lu, según yo, según yo sí tenemos que contemplar la opción de no porque al final es una opción. ¿Dónde está la gente que no ha tenido problemas? O sea, a, a fuerza van a tener que contestar esta pregunta, ¿me entiendes? Los vas a obligar y si ellos no han tenido problemas, pues tienes que dar la opción de que contesten que no. ¿Por qué los vamos a The same hours. Ok, what happened? We are missing someone. Amaya. ¿Dónde está Amaya? Se salió y tenía las preguntas. Just give us a minute. Deja, le voy a mandar un mensaje por Instagram, bro. I just uh, go for a couple of minutes and I return and something happened. We were having much more, so just give us a second. Si quiere, ahorita le mandamos mensaje, ahorita que regresa Maya. Okay. Gracias, prof. Entra el prof. Sí, o sea, justo primero ya llegó. Don't worry, I'm here. Ah, oh, okay. 
So we have these questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay like, I'll show you the first one. You want that? You already saw. Ah, esto no lo terminamos. We're going to finish that one and later. Which one do you? Okay, estoy se quedó Maya. Have you completed all your assignment tasks? That one is good. Yes, all of them, most of them. Well, enough, enough. That one is kind of tricky, no? Some, some. We did. Why not change enough from some? Uh, we we didn't know what what to put in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, which platform? Okay, yes. Uh, about your personal life, I don't get the reason of that one. Yeah, what we wanted to, to what we wanted to mean is like um, uh, supposedly the home office gives you the uh, well gives you like more time that you do not have to be in a presential office so you have time to do more activities or to be with your family or that kind of stuff so that might impact uh, the way uh, uh, the employee the employee de the employee develops so that's why we want okay, so maybe you can ask does home office uh, improves your personal life no or helps or Yes, I don't know. Yes, maybe. Okay. Okay, yes. Yes, you're doing fine. So how many questions do we need to create? You need to have 20 variables, but sometimes one question will create two variables so but in our questions the, the ones that you already saw we don't have like more than one right for, for example question. in platform yes platform has two variables all oh, right okay for example so when you one, put like other right for example in the first one you have one two you have three the first one has three variables. The second has two. So now you have five. Now let's continue. Uh, that uh, has one, then two, then two. Yes, I mean, count the variables. I think we have three then. Then we have three. Uh, sorry, it's, we have. You have uh, to start coding right now. Okay, so in here we have three. I think you have three. Aquí cinco con esta. Three. Yes, two. Five, six. One. Y, uh, right there are two, so eight. Ocho. Acá otras dos. Diez. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 16, 17, 19, no, 18, 18, you have 18 right now. Uh, otras dos. Exactly. Okay, I need to disconnect because I have to record the session and get ready for my next class and this takes uh, some time. So I need to disconnect you. All right, so okay. So see Do we you next class.
Just do we... Recording, please. All right. Okay. Yes. Bye. Bye. -bye. Adiós. Am Am Amaya, Amaya. Sí, ya lo guardé. ¿Puedes, comp ¿Puedes compartirnoslo ah. también, por favor? Sí. Ándale. Hi there. Hi. We haven't I need finished to yet. disconnect the meeting because uh, I need to record it and it takes some time for the conversion and I have to be ready for my next class. So please uh, finish coding. Okay. okay. So we should finish this and we should reconnect or the session is done? No, 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 no. See you next week. Ah, okay. okay. So we have finished for today. We just finished this. Continue with the SPSS. Exactly. And see you next week. Exactly. Okay, and just a question. So we should apply the survey during this week to have results for next one and then analyze them for next one or how how it's going to be the agenda? Or lo dejamos en pausa. It would be great if you can at least apply one or two just to make sure that you are doing things right. No. Okay. Maybe maybe each one of the team members can apply one, no? I mean, just to try. Okay. One or more. I think that would be great. Okay. Perfect. Okay, see you next week. Bye. Okay, thank you, thank teacher. You. Bye. Bye-bye. Pero no se saben ustedes. No. Hi there. Hey. Uh, we're doing uh, the SPSS, but I don't think we're going to have enough time for this class. Don't worry, don't worry. I mean, yes. you're, doing, you're doing very good. I need to disconnect because I have to uh, record the session and prepare for next class. So okay. please, uh, for next class, two, two things. Finish the coding and each one of the teams, each one of you, please apply one, one survey. Only one, each one of you. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thank see you. you next week. See you. Bye.